Hey kiddos, welcome back to Art Time with Miss Rosas. So this week you read Diary of a Spider by Doreen Cronin and it was illustrated by Harry Bliss. So today we're going to learn how to draw a spider's web and how to draw a spider like the one from Diary of a Spider. So there's a few materials you're going to need before we get started. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and then something to make color with. If you have markers, that's great. If you have colored pencils, that's fine. Crayons are awesome. I have a whole bag of markers I'll be using, uh, but we're not quite yet there yet, so let's take it one step at a time. So you can work on a full sheet of paper if you want to. I'm working on a smaller sheet of paper this week just because it's a little easier for me, um, but you can work on whatever size paper makes you comfortable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on my spider web. So to start this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start drawing lines straight across my paper. I'm gonna make sure they all cross over on that same center point. So I might draw just a couple more because I want this to be a really detailed spider web. So you are just gonna go ahead and do the best you can trying to cross those lines through that center point. If it's not perfect, as usual, that is okay. You might want to use a ruler as well if you have one. If you don't have a ruler, um, anything that you have, like a piece of paper with a really like straight edge, will also work. So now that I have my lines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make a little wavy line and I'm going to dip it down in between each of my two lines. So I go and dip down in between each of my lines just like that. Boom. Now I'm going to repeat that through the entire lines. Just dipping it down. It's almost like a U. Just dip it down in between each line. I don't even want to pick up my pencil. I just want to keep it in the same spot. And then meet back in the center. And they're gonna get bigger and further apart the farther out that we go. Okay. Now that I've got my spider web, I need something to live inside my web. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a spider just like the one from Diary of a Spider. You can put your spider right in the middle if you want to. You can put him off to the side. You can put him wherever you want. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do though is I'm gonna erase some of the lines I just made. Remember, press down lightly when you make these lines. So when you need to erase, your pencil does not show through. I pressed down a little bit harder when I did mine just so you guys could see as I was drawing, um, but make sure you guys press really softly. So our spider has a few shapes that make up his body. His body is mostly circles and kind of really skinny rectangular lines. So I'm gonna start with his big old spider booty. He has a big old Thorax, abdomen, I'll have to double check on my spider terminology after this. So I'm gonna draw one circle for his, his booty. One circle for his abdomen. And he's got a little circle up here for his head. And then you can erase any lines you don't need, like his body circle is definitely in front of his booty circle. So we're gonna erase that. And I'll give you a moment to do that. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we learned in our story that spiders have not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but eight legs. Because again, spiders are not insects. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna start drawing spiders' legs. I'm gonna lightly sketch them out. His legs are really long, so he's got leg up here and a leg comes down. I'll probably just draw these out with my uh, crayon when I get to that, that point. We're gonna draw another leg, leg comes out. 
one more leg right here. They're kind of overlapping, that's okay. Overlapping is when one thing goes in front of another thing. So I've got four legs up here. And then because his legs are on the other side of his body, I don't want to draw them like right here like they're popping out. I'm just going to go ahead and draw them like they're covered. So I just have four legs on the side. Next thing we need to do is draw his eyeballs and his little, he has little antennae. So I'm just going to draw a line at the top of his head. The pokey line out. One more line on top of his head. Another pokey line out. I know we have a lot of lines right here. It'll make sense though when we add color. Last thing we need is we need to give him a nose. And this spider has a nose, a mouth, and some very mischievous looking eyes. So I'm going to draw a line about in the middle of his face. It's going to be at an angle. This is big old nose and it comes, almost looks like a weird backwards L. And then he's got his little smile off the side. So we're going to do a little line right there and the smile is going to come out this way. All the way to the edge of his face. And then we're going to draw a little line. And one more line like he's got little eyebrows and then draw his little eyes looking off to the side. Awesome, so now that my pencil's drawing is done, all I have to do is add my color. You guys can choose to make his web whatever color you want because you know what, this is art. And there is no one right or wrong way to do things when you're making art. So, I am going to get my pen and I'm going to start designing my web. All right, so now I've got this really bright looking spider web. If you don't like the way this looks, you are welcome to do this with black. If you wanna keep this basic, that is okay. Whatever makes you happy. Since I am not keeping with a normal color scheme, I think I'm going to, well, what color do I wanna make my spider? I've used like every color except for green, really. So maybe I'm gonna make my spider green because why not? So I've got his legs, I've got his body done. I just need to outline his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. All right, everyone, time for part two of our project. So now that you have either your super colorful front of your artwork or your basic black and white one, either one is okay. I did the exact same thing on this one that I did with the other one, I just kept it black and white. So it really just depends on how you like the way it looks. If you like this one better, definitely go with this. If you like lots of color, I think lots of color is cool too. So we're gonna turn our artwork into a postcard to, let's say Grandpa Spider, because again, uh, in the Diary of a Spider, the spider got postcards from Grandpa Spider as he was gone. So a postcard is really cool because on the back side, there's a space for you to write an address in, and there's a space for you to write a message. There's also a space for a little stamp up here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna draw a little rectangle up in the corner. And I'm gonna draw three lines for my address. And now I want you guys to come up with a message to send to Grandpa Spider. Maybe you can tell me, tell, Grandpa Spider one thing you learned or thought was funny in 
in diary of a spider. So don't write this. You're going to write down something that you learned. But tell Grandpa Spider one thing you learned that you thought was interesting. And then come up with an address. So this is going to go to Grandpa Spider. Maybe he lives on one spider way. And we're going to make up another place that he lives. Let's say Webb's Palma. That's what you do when you have the name of a city. So we're going to pretend this is the name of a city. C-A. And then typically you have five numbers for a zip code. You can write whatever you want to. But if you'd like to take this up a notch and write a cool postcard to Grandpa Spider, I think that'd be a really nice thing to do because who doesn't like receiving postcards, especially during times like this? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too fast. As always, remember there are no mistakes in art, only happy accidents, my friends, as Bob Ross likes to say. And I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye.